Hi, my name is Noelle Steffen, and I'm a publications intern at the Zoological Society of Milwaukee. We're here at the Milwaukee County Zoo's Jaguar exhibit. Behind the glass is Pat the Cat. He is a magnificent male jaguar. We're going to ask zookeeper Neil Dretzka some questions about Pat. Pat the Cat certainly is a beautiful jaguar. Do all jaguars have such nice spots? Yes, they do. Um, the spot patterns on the jaguar are unique, um, and there's one easy identifying feature that'll help you identify them as opposed to a cat like the leopard, which has a similar spot pattern. But the large rosettes on the jaguar have a black dot in the center, and that's something that le that's lacking on the leopard spots. The cheetahs are another spotted cat too, and their spots are always solid black, so that's an easy way to identify all three spotted cats. The Zoological Society of Milwaukee helped support the Jaguar Rehabilitation Program at the Blee Zoo and helped bring Pat the Cat here to Milwaukee. Could you tell me a little about Pat's history and how he came to be part of the program? Sure. Well, Pat was born in the wild of Belize, um, so we don't have an exact birth date on him, but I think he's somewhere between 8 and 11 years old. And Pat became a problem for the local ranchers in that he started killing livestock. So instead of being shot and killed by the local ranchers, he was captured and sent to the Belize Zoo where he was worked with for over a period of time to get uh, acclimated to life in captivity. And now that uh, the rehab work is done with him, um, then he was he came to us. Um, the, the cats that leave the program do get placed in other zoos similar to ours. At the Belize Zoo, how did they get Pat used to being around people? Well, they spent a lot of time working with him. Um, they hand fed him, they talked to him, uh, and I hear they even sang to him. <laughs> And that ties into my next question. Um, I heard that Cher Matola, the director of the Belize Zoo, sings to the jaguars. Did the zookeepers here do that? Well, we tried a little bit in the beginning, <laughs> but uh, he doesn't have a special song here. <laughs> the outdoor jaguar yard looks like it has a couple of tin men from the Wizard of Oz in it. What are these, and what other changes did you make to the jaguar yard and indoor area in preparation for Pad? Well, the metal structures are tree guards. Um, Based on some information we got about Pat in Belize, um, one of those facts is that he likes to climb. So we were afraid that he might actually get up in the trees that are in his yard. So the metal structures were put in place uh, to keep Pat where he belongs and ultimately to prevent any escapes. Um, some of the changes that we did uh, included creating a log climbing structure in the yard. Now that's something he is allowed access to and it gives him a little perch. A lot of the cats do like to sit in a good vantage point where they can look around their surroundings and keep tabs on the other animals and, uh, and the public and other goings on here at the zoo. So Pat can sit on top of the climbing structure. It, it's also um, obviously constructed of wood or logs and that's important to the care of the cat's nails. All the cats at the zoo have access to wood so they can scratch and keep their nails in good shape. We also added some logs to the inside den area, um, the off exhibits area. Um, it was enlarged a little bit, the ceiling panels were raised and the logs were added so this too gives Pat the advantage to climb to the heights that he seems to enjoy. So there's lions here to the left of us and then right down the hall there's some cheetahs. Pat had never seen these big cats before. How did he react to them? He started out being pretty cautious. He liked to stay in the back of the exhibit and keep an eye on the new neighbors um, because you're right, he never had seen the other cats before. And he seems to keep greater tabs on the lions as opposed to uh, when the hyenas are in there. Over the course of time though, he's gotten pretty well adjusted to them and I think he realizes that they're not gonna come over and hurt him. When do you plan to introduce the female jaguar, Stella, to Pat? Well, ultimately, we hope that our pair of jaguars breed, so we're going to wait until Stella comes into estrus, and then the pair will be introduced at that time. What are the value of Pat's genes? Well, we're excited to have Pat here because he was wild born, and that introduces a brand new set of genetics to the captive jaguar population. Um, there aren't any other cats in, in captivity that are related to Pat. Why is it fun to watch Pat in his exhibit? 
Well, he's really a neat cat to watch, and uh, you know, the more I learn about jaguars, the more I like them as a species. Pat's fairly interactive with the keepers. You know, he had his period of adjustment, getting to know new people and new faces uh, and new surroundings. We do get close enough to talk to him, and he does seem to respond to that.